requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are at it again with another episode of Big E Plays. I am Big Papa ETJ and we're jumping back into our uh, save from Final Fantasy 16. I don't even remember where I now I remember where I left that here. I hear I hear someone sniffing behind me. It's Torgo. Okay. I just hear aggressive ass sniffing like uber aggressive ass sniffing and it's the doggo Get it, boy. but um, ultima has casted primogenesis on the world everyone has been losing Philippe will make a good captain their mind he reminds me a little of you uh, things are literally falling apart here in the world and, with the random ether spawning, it is making it very, 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 very difficult to um, traverse in the world here. And um, you are noticing places that were peaceful pastors being hella affected. Holy shit. And I fucking fast spawn in and someone's Poor dead. Poor bastard. Couldn't run because of the weight of his load. Still, better a branded than one of us. The fuck happened? Yeah, everything's all like doom and gloomy. Oh. Oops. Wrong game. Yeah. Sid, your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Jesus Christ. Should I be worried? Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. Mm -hmm. All lies, I'm sure. Your stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Thank you. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Yep. Now, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? Mm, no one's gonna what makes to us. you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. Mm-hmm. Main quest. I suppose we just follow the shouting. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. 
any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? I don't remember Sid that. And Lady Jill. What brings you I don't here? remember Victor. I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. Mm. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Yeah. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Costner's. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Mm -hmm. Or an entire city, for that mm -hmm. matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime... Perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Mm. So... You see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. Mm -hmm. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake, he'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yep. <sighs> A recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be... Clive Killer to pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other when all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits? It appears we have a plan of action. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along? <laughs> what he means to say is yes. When do we get to fight some shit? A shop. Why would anyone do such a thing? <laughs> if I had my pickaxe, I would. <laughs> Don't get yourself worked up. You need rest. <laughs> I mean, it may still be possible to buy something, and we may... Ah, here he is now. Natalie, 
allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord Underhill. That's your question mark. <laughs> Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord. And how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Sure, <laughs> so she knows. She knows who I am. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. <laughs> Anything I can interest you in? Anything else I can take off your hands? Thank you kindly. Thank you for your custom. <laughs> Thank you for taking my paying me money. Stupid. Like that mega flare should not be as broken as it is. Is that a troll or a goblin? I think it's a I'm pretty sure it's a goblin. Yeah, the dogs the dogs never came this this south here. This path is clear.
So, hang on. Go to gears and icons. So, so apparently, so when it comes to the Phoenix, so, so according to the Phoenix, So this can be used as a uh, as a counter. So. Hey, oh, there are goblins here. There really are goblins just chilling here. All right. There's a big, yeah, I was say there's a big in there. Just chilling in the water, bro. Get up out the water here. So like, for instance, something so i'm i have i may have to up update that ability then Heat wave. 